If I create a video because of your comment, I'll give you a shout out. So be sure to let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Today I'm going to be building the motor portion of a PID line following robot that I'm building. I like to break things up into segments, so this way I'll be focusing only on the motor section. I don't need to worry about any other aspects of my line following robot. So I have all my parts here. I have my microcontroller, which is going to control the motors. My 5 volt regulator, which is going to supply 5 volts to my microcontroller from my battery. My motor driver, which is going to drive my motors because we can't drive the motors directly from the microcontroller itself. The motor driver allows us to provide power to our motors from our battery directly and then our microcontroller can flip electronic switches uh, inside of our motor driver to switch the direction and, and adjust the power of our motors. This is just a connector so that it allows me to connect my battery to my 12 volt regulator. This 12 volt regulator is a step up regulator so what this does is it steps up my 7.4 volt battery to a 12 volt signal so that I can power my motors which are 12 volt motors. Then I have my two DC motors here, a half breadboard, solderless breadboard, and then my uh, battery which is a 7.4 volt 2S, so it's two, two cells, and it's a 1000 milliamp hour. When I build my circuits, I like to break them into segments. I start off by building the uh, power connections, so I'll connect my battery and everything, all that stuff. Um, and then I'll move on to something else, such as maybe hooking up the motors to the motor driver and then connecting the microcontroller to the motor driver. Um, I like to break things up so that I make sure that I get all the connections made properly. All right, let's get started. Okay, at this point my circuit is finished. Um, I do want to mention one thing. So if you look at the pinout, this is actually a positive, negative, negative, positive on the board. Uh, but because, without going into too much detail here, because I have one motor facing this direction and one motor facing this direction, I'm going to want one actually going in the opposite direction of the other. So I've hooked up one in a backwards polarity. That way when I program, my programming will be the same and the motors will go, both go forward when I apply the same program to each motor. Another thing I want to mention is that at this point, I could now plug this in and start uploading a program to my, my Teensy board. However, at this point, I like to take the Teensy off, then I'll plug my power in, and then I'll use a voltmeter to check to make sure that my voltage is correct on all points within the board to make sure that I'm not going to fry uh, my microcontroller. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.